Well, hey guys, it's uh, May 4th, 2022. This is the second part. I didn't realize that Enoch um, 22 had more than seven. So I'm just gonna read the whole thing. I uh, sent it to Cassie and I, I don't know if the translation, the one that I was looking at was good. So she sent me one that has 13 or no, 15 verses in um, chapter 22 of Enoch. And he said it's gonna foreshadow events of what to come. I've never read Enoch before, but literally the last two messages, he's pointing me in that direction. Um, so I think it's very interesting, and I think he wants people to find out the truth. Um, I claim that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. He's also God. He came to earth as a man in the flesh. He bled and died on the cross for our sins, and he rose on the third day. He was born of a virgin, for the people who complain about me not saying that, um, and Basically, ignore the telegram and the WhatsApp people because they're trying to scam you. Okay, so I'm going to just read Enoch 22, guys, and then, you know, always take a Jesus and study it yourself. Number one, from thence I proceeded to another spot where I saw on the west a great and lofty mountain, a strong rock, and four delightful places. Number two, internally it was deep, capacious, and very smooth, as smooth as if it had been rolled over. It was both deep and dark to behold. Number three, then Raphael, one of the holy angels who were with me, answered and said, These are the delightful places where the spirits, the souls of the dead, will be collected. For them were they formed, and here will be collected all the souls of the sons of men. Number four, these places in which they dwell shall they occupy until the day of judgment and until their appointed period. Their appointed period will be long even until the great judgment. And I saw spirits of the sons of men who were dead and their voices reached to heaven while they were accusing. Then I inquired of Raphael, an angel who was with me, and said, whose spirit is that the voice of which reaches to heaven and accuses? He answered saying, this is the spirit of Abel who was slain by Cain, his brother, and who will accuse that brother until his seed be destroyed from the face of the earth. Number eight, until his seed perish from the seed of the human race. Number nine, at that time, therefore I inquired respecting him and respecting the general judgment saying, why is one separated from another? He answered, three separations have been made between the spirits of the dead and thus have the spirits of the righteous been separated. Number 10, namely by a chasm, by water and by light above it. Number 11, and in the name or in, and in the same way, likewise are sinners separated when they die and are buried in the earth, judgment not overtaking them in their lifetime. Number 12, here their souls are separated. Moreover, abundant is their suffering until the time of the great judgment, the castigation, and the torment of those who eternally execrate, whose souls are punished and bound there forever. Number 13, and thus has it been from the beginning of the world. Thus has there existed a separation between the souls of those who utter complaints and of those who watch for the destruction to slaughter them in the day of sinners. And number 14, a receptacle of this sort has been formed for their souls of unrighteous men and of sinners, of those who have completed crime and associated with the impious whom they resemble. Their souls shall not be annihilated in the day of judgment neither shall they arise from this place. Then I blessed God. Number 15, and said, blessed be the Lord. Blessed be my Lord, the Lord of glory and of righteousness who reigns over all forever and forever. So I'm guessing he's talking about, you know, the differences between the righteous and the unrighteous in judgment, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure, but anyway, so that was that was part of part one. If you guys haven't seen part one, go watch it. It's um the May 4th one. Um, and I think I've discovered, I think I can't remember if I said this in the last video, but it's kind of interesting how God is giving me the messages late at night. Kind of almost like we're behind Israel. So I'm always like a day late because it's always too late for me to post it. Sometimes I will if it's like 
if he knows that something's gonna happen the next day, I have to post it and he won't leave me alone until I post it, so. But last night he said, rest my child. So I was like, okay, good. I don't know if this happens to you guys, but like the ones who get messages and stuff, does it drain you? Because like when the spirit comes over me and after I get a message, I am just like, I'm so wiped out, zonked out. Sometimes I just fall asleep in the middle of it. Um, it's just so powerful and strong. You know, our Lord God is good. And guys, the reason why he's giving me messages every day almost is because time is short and he's trying to wake his people up. I mean, I don't know, you know, what soon is to God, but it has to be really soon because he keeps giving people rapture dreams, visions, messages, um, you know, it's got to be soon. So, you know, if you're one of those people that are on the fence and they don't trust in Jesus, what are you waiting for? There's nothing to lose here. You know, you're going to find out pretty soon when the United, I guess it's the map severs, he said. He didn't say the United States. He just said the map severs on this message before that. I think it was yesterday's message. They kind of all run together. Um, but he said, you'll know the truth about Antarctica when the map severs. So apparently it's going to show that he truly exists and what the enemy's been hiding all along. So, all right, guys, have a blessed day. Trust in Jesus. He's amazing. Love you.